What's up, everybody? Coach Stefan here. I'm with one of our clients, Jared. Jared, do you mind introducing yourself, giving people a little bit of background just so they know who we're chatting with? Yeah, uh, my name is Jared Booker. I'm 47 years old. I jo joined the program uh, pretty much since December 1st of last year. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this, I, I'd been working out for a couple of years on my own, but you know, being 46 at the time, 47 now, I was pretty much doing the same workouts that I was doing 30 years ago. And I knew there was so much newer and smarter stuff out there. And it was just extremely difficult for me to try to filter through all the data. And uh, a friend of mine actually found Pursuit and his results were just absolutely amazing. Uh, Doug McQuitty, if anybody wants to look at him, he, he's done phenomenal. And seeing what it had done for him. And uh, one of my, the biggest issues I have is I've had lower back pain sometimes to the point of crippling lower back pain since I was mm -hmm. 29 years old. So for 18 years, I've been dealing with this and I wanted someone to coach me through exercises to help me heal that, or at least rehab it and get me to the best shape I could be in. And uh, so that's, that's was my primary objective whenever yeah. I came on board with pursuit. And also I'm, I don't have knee problems, but I want to someone to teach me the exercises I need to do to bulletproof my knees to make sure that getting in, you know, into my older age, you know, 20, 30 years from now, that my knees are as good as they could possibly be for that age. And so Mike has thrown me, Coach Mike has thrown me some really interesting exercises I never heard of before. Yeah. Uh, some of them I, I, I feel like I look a little goofy, but I, I do them all. I you know, knock it out. And I can definitely tell that I'm getting healthier in my lower back. My, I'm getting more mobile and just flexible. And I've just really, really enjoyed the program and look forward to the things that Mike's going to throw at me next. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good, good little intro and feedback. So you've been in the program around four months ish. You joined because of Doug, by the way, Doug, yeah, you're right. He has crushed it. He's actually recommended like four people, I think now or five people to join the program and they're all loving it. And we love to see that when a client does so well, they make such a big transformation that they recommend people. And then you know, obviously he's going to bring in people that are willing to put in the work and you, you have been. And I think a, a important thing that we were just chatting about before is like, you know, you, you work a lot, like a lot, like you said your days. And I know it's not all work, but like four 30 in the morning to like eight or nine. And I think that's important to understand because, you know, we live in a world where, and I see this with my family. I love them, but they go, I'm just busy. I'm like, you don't, you don't know what busy is. Like, I know you say you're busy, but you work a nine to five. You you don't have any kids. You, I promise you, you're not that busy. You got three kids, your wife works. You know, you got to wake up at four, 4.30 in the morning, go to the gym, go to the gym, get your kids ready, go to work. So like, I mean, hats off to you because that's not easy. Um, how, how have you been able to make the program work with like your crazy work schedule and your busy life? So, you know, you, you said that, you know, people say, well, I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. And I'm like, I really, I don't like that saying, you know, because yeah. yes, everybody is busy, but you know what we all do? We find time for things that are important to us. hundred percent. So if, if, is your health important to you? I mean, I, I don't want to tell you if, if it is, you're going to find time for it, you know, and if it's not, you're going to make excuses. So, uh, you know, I, I do got to give a shout out to my wife. She's like a freaking machine in the morning because our alarm goes off at 3.50 in the morning and we're usually out the door by about 4.10, 4.15. Many, many mornings I lay there and hope she sleeps in. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not it's, it's, it's the truth, yeah. man. So I, yeah. I, I, I kind of got a cop out there because if, if it was just me having to count on myself, it, it would be more difficult. But every time I hear that boat, bed creaking and she's getting up, I'm like, I, I'm not going to lay in bed and watch her go to the gym. You know what no. I mean? no. So, uh, and then, and it was funny as we go to different gyms because she had, she likes certain things. I like certain things. So we, we go our separate ways. We get back home about the same time. And, and it's funny because like, as we exit the bedroom, get in our cars and leave, it's, you know, it's have a good workout, have a good workout. And then we get back home and we're both energized, ready to attack the day. We're in really good moods and just sets our entire day on the right path. Yes. And, uh, and, I, and I just feel like I've, I've done the thing one of the three most important things, you know, to my day is done. Yeah. 
and and really to some point it's it's even the most difficult part of my day yeah getting you up know, early I, and going to sweat and put yourself in some pain yeah i'm a big proponent with training in the mornings um i i i actually have back pain too and i know we talked about that before you went in from like an old injury and so for me because I have a little more freedom and I, I used to train in the mornings at like five when I was in college a couple of years ago, like that was the only time, literally, I didn't have a choice. Um, and then recently I still train pretty early in the mornings, not as early as you. So don't, you know, I could, but, uh, I'll let my body wake up a little bit more, but it's still basically first thing in the morning for me. I only, well, there's one day out of the week specifically where I do train my back really hard, my low back. So I, I let it warm up. I, I train a little bit later or maybe even in the evening. But most days I'm at the gym early and I like that too. It's not unnecessary for our clients, but you get it out of the way. The only thing you fight is just the alarm versus, oh, this happened at work or my kid got sick or, you know, I'm tired or whatever. Um, so, you know, we're a big push to like, dude, just get it out of the way. If you're already battling it, just finish it, right? Um, so- that's good for you. And you have a great support system. Your wife, you know, you said she's a machine. Not everybody has that, but that's super helpful. And now you go to separate gyms. So you're, yeah, you both get at the same time. But like, I know before we chatted, you were like, or before you joined the program, you were saying that you were just doing the same workouts over and over and over again. Do you feel like that was kind of demotivating? Cause you're just like going through the motions, but you're not, you don't really know if it's helping you. I was, I was still improving. So I wouldn't say it was demotivating. I just felt like it was, uh, it's hard to, how to phrase this, but I just knew there was more out there. I just didn't know how to find it. And my back was, I was, I was doing better, but I was, it was just, I was always like right there around the mm -hmm. corner back to, you know, debilitating, crippling injury. And, um, and, and, and my wife's running into this a little bit too. She gets kind of bored. So I've kind of helped her with her workout routine a little bit and change things up for okay. her. Awesome. <laughs> and, uh, but yes, I, uh, I, I don't know. I think I said this already, but it's, uh, I like looking at my app and you know, I'll be sitting there with my wife. I'm like, Oh my God, look at this exercise I got to do, <laughs> you know? And yeah, it's, it's always interesting and fun to see the, uh, the change up, you know, and go try something new out. And, uh, for example, I, I don't know if everybody's being familiar with the earthquake bar, but I was excited to try that out. And, uh, I, Oh my gosh, that thing just destroyed me the first time I did it. And yeah. you know, I showed it to my wife and she thinks it looks so silly and, like, you don't understand. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. It, that thing just about just shreds me when I do it. So I, I look forward to the earthquake bar all the time now. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it makes me excited to hear that you're excited to go do it. I mean, most adults don't look forward to their workouts. And I always think back when I used to play sports, I get excited to go to practice. I'm like, is it almost time? Is the bell going to ring? Like, can I go? And um, when I was in the military, I had that same feeling about training. I was like, almost out of work, get to go to the gym. And that is such a great place to be because that's the spot where I'm like, I'm never not going to be fit because I like going. It's not a meant, it's not a chore. Right. And so if we can keep it fun, right. If we can keep it, you excited. I mean, that's important. So if you're doing the same monotonous workouts for 30 years, yes, you know, they're important. We got to check off the box, the work, you know, training is not supposed to be this fun unicorn butterfly thing. I get it. But obviously if you're like, oh, this is interesting. This switches it up. Like it, it, it keeps that ball rolling. I want to talk about your back pain. Cause that is something that Mike actually has helped me rehab my back. He is a anatomical genius. And so how was your back before you said it was kind of on the cusp of like, man, I hope one day it, I would, I hope I don't throw it out tomorrow. How would you say it is right now, as far as your strength and endurance and pain? So just to kind of explain a little bit further, like I, my back pain was a bulging disc into my sciatic nerve that would cause pain into my, you know, my right butt cheek down the front of my leg, all the way top of my foot. And it was, it was like no escaping it. I, like, I couldn't lay in yeah. bed. I couldn't sit in a recline. There's just, there was nothing. And um, I have not had that in a couple of years, but the fear of it kept me from really pushing myself like on squat rack. I, I didn't even picture myself doing deadlifts let alone Romanian deadlifts and you know Mike throws all this stuff at me and so whenever I was doing squats before I would do like 90 pounds that that was it you know it's like I wouldn't I wouldn't go any higher than 90 pounds I felt like I would squat down and I just like oh I'm just it's, it's it's as far as I can go and uh I think the last time I did squats I was doing 170 with ease wow. 
And, and to be honest with you, I probably could have done a little more. There's just still that little fear in me. Sure, sure. You know, but at the same time, I've almost doubled what I was previously doing. And 170 isn't a bunch, but when you look at, you know, how, how do you want to market? You know, I mean, here's a guy I never thought he'd do the squat rack again. And uh, 47 years old, he spent most of my 30s in physical therapy and crippled. And uh, now I'm, I'm squatting 170 pounds. I'm, you know, I can't remember what I, I had deadlifted. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, Bulgarian split squats. It's three yeah. words I probably hate the most. And uh, <laughs> oh, just yeah. doing those. I mean, I had those today. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just exercise that I'm doing that I, I know is slowly getting me better and better, and uh, and I and I can tell I'm getting stronger. Yeah, man. I mean, from somebody that has I've I've had really, uh, you had it for longer than me or a little bit older, but uh, I had debilitating back pain, you know, and I was training and trying to maneuver around it. And actually, Mike was one of the first coaches that I really was like, hey, dude. I've gone I same route. I've gone to physical therapy. I've had dry needling. I've had cupping. I've had all this. I had a torn disc. So mine was bulging and torn and it was right into my sciatic. Actually, I kind of rehabbed it. I slipped it and was in my nerve. I was like on the ground for three days. Couldn't move. Like it was really bad. Um, and I came to him, you know, obviously he, he works for me, but like, I'm like, Hey dude, I know you know how to like rehab people. And he gave me some stuff over a couple months, which really were game changers. Some of them weird movements, right? Like doing Zercher style things or yeah. just stuff, just stuff I wouldn't really think and about doing. And I, and again, I was already a coach for 10 plus years. So for me, I'm like, okay, I know my stuff, but looking at somebody that just, you know, has a different approach was really nice. And for me, I would always revert back to the workouts that I liked, right? We see that a lot like, oh, I'm comfortable with this. This keeps my physique good, but I'm like, what life is a life living if you're in pain all the time? You know that better than anybody. And so I'm like, I need to get pain free. And it's, you know, when you have a back injury, it's not just a one year and you're totally better. It's a journey. Yeah. I still am in, I still have back pain every week. People realize like, oh, are you hundred percent better? <laughs> when you have a major injury, you might not ever be a hundred percent, but for sure, I feel way better than what I did. And I know more of my limits and I'm doing movements that have created a lot more mobility and strength. And same thing for you. For three years, I was scared shitless to get under a squat bar or deadlift. Like I it terrified. Uh, and I was a fitness coach. And, you know, fast forward to now, deadlifting, squatting, and I'm still, you know, in the morning, I'm still smart. Like, hey, let my back warm up if I'm doing Jefferson curls or any like a big, huge compound movements. But uh, yeah, it's night and day different. So I'm glad you kind of had that same experience. And sometimes it's just getting getting uncomfortable a little bit. Like, getting in those places, doing the new movements, trusting the process, yep. right? More than anything else. Um, how's, you know, you've been in the program four months. How do you feel like though, just overall experience has been like customer service, communication, working with your coach, adjusting things? Oh man, I, I mean, here's what I would say to someone that's considering doing this. I almost feel like you guys should charge more, you know, because I, 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 I Along with me, the the initial sicker shock kind of, kind of got me, but I, I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. But my wife's been working with a personal trainer, and um, you know when she saw me start doing it, so she's spending just about the same amount a month than I am for four hours a month. You know, and here I've got Mike responds so quickly to any question I have, uh, explains in great detail if I have a question about something in my workout or if I. There's a machine I need that's not available. He, that guy changes it like that. And, um, you know, I, I just, I feel like the level of attention I get, it's, it's just amazing for what we, you know, what you guys charge for it. And uh, it, it's, it's just a great thing, man. I, I recommend it. I've recommended it to so many people. I know everybody's pulled the trigger on it, but uh, it's, it's fantastic, man. I, you know, I, I want to try to, wrap this up after a year, but I, I don't know, you know, I think I'm like, man, I kind of like having Mike in my corner, you know, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. might sign up for a second year just to, just to, you know, really get me rock, you know, where I want to be, but. Uh, for sure. And then no, it, I mean, it, it just answers random questions too, you know, this, I might hit him up about some, some workout I want to do just whenever. And, and yeah. so it's just awesome that I can always have that resource that I can go to. That's just so much more knowledgeable than I am. Yeah. I mean, I've, uh, I think like mentorship, that's like the best way I can explain how our coaching is. Cause some people, they say coaching, 
they done sports. They think it's like a coach. Uh, it, I think it is different than training, right? We know we have in-person training too, and I've done it. Like you said, your wife goes as great as her trainer is. Her trainer could be the top trainer in the right. world, but like it's still only that one hour. And then she leaves yep. and she's kind of on her own the rest of the day or the rest of the week. And there's no communication. And the trainer's not really looking at the data and what workout she's doing and not really tracking her nutrition versus with the online coaching. Cause I know this is a first for you. And I would say 75 to 80% of our clients never had an online coach before. And the same, I've done so many of these interviews, the same thing. This is great. This is great. Or people that have done in person are like, this is way better. And we knew because when we developed the, our, this program in the company, we basically filled all the gaps. So we took everything good that in-person training offered for the most part, kept that and then filled in all the holes. And it does come with a lot more collaboration, communication. And from somebody that I've had a fitness coach, I've had an online coach. I've had an online, I've had business coaches and mentorship is the most powerful thing. And it's hard to know what you're missing until you get somebody in your corner. And you're like, man, like it is way different being able to just re pick up the phone and ask somebody, or like, I, I kind of have been curious about this diet or this nutrition, or I yeah. heard this and like asking your coach and getting a detailed methodic explanation of somebody you trust instead of falling down this internet rabbit hole where like you follow 10 yep. different trainers on Instagram and you YouTube mm -hmm. things and they're kind of contradicting <laughs> each other. It's better to just have one credible source. And that source you trust because they've gotten your results and and yep. other people, right? So yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad it's been a great experience for you. That makes me super happy to hear that you know, you've, you've gotten more pain-free, you've doubled your, your weight, you're getting stronger. And also it's just a testament to the work you've put in. Cause you said, man, we, we call them out. You make time for what's most important. Thousand percent agree. It's kind yeah. of a hard pill for some, some people to swallow a little bit, but, uh, and I'm, I think we're all guilty at certain points in other certain areas of our life. Like I'm really open about it on the podcast and I had times where I wouldn't make time for my family. And I, and people would be like, well, you make time for what's most important. I'm like, oh, you're right. So yeah. I got to like reassess and I got to do it. And you got to take ownership as a man and be like, all right, well, what is, what are my actions saying? Are my actions saying my family's important? Are my actions saying my fitness is important? And you obviously took ownership and you stepped up and you were going, but you're like, even when a step further financially invested and, you know, putting time and, and effort into the program. So yeah, it's a testament to how serious you take your goal. And uh, I'm excited to kind of see your progress over the next year or multiple years. I think that would be be awesome and looking forward to it, man. You know, I would also mention that, uh, you know, the, the cost of the program, you know, when I was talking to my wife about it, it's like, you know, you start thinking about the things in your life that you spend money on. Like, I, I'm, I love iced tea. I, I wonder how much money I spend on iced tea throughout the year, you know, or uh, even just going to a restaurant. I, I don't know what it is, right? Well, but you think about things you invest in in life. I'm like, how often do you think about investing in yourself? Yeah. And how often we overlook that. And so I think that's a, you know, if, if you're going to invest for your future, but you're not investing for your in yourself to ensure you can enjoy that future. I mean, what's, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And another, another kind of analogy that I really like, and it's a, another kind of hard pill to swallow is I think, if you look at somebody's bank account, you'll find out what's most important to them. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and, and like, that's, that's kind of a, and people say like, well, not always. I'm like, if you looked at my bank account or, you know, some other of our clients, they're getting supplements and not that that's necessary, but they're getting the supplements. They have a coach, like, you know, they're, you, you could tell like, wow, this person, man, they're probably fit. I could just tell by their transactions, they're fit. Or are you going out to eat all the time? Are you going and getting drinks? Are you going on vacations? And all that's awesome. But if you're doing it because like at the expense of you're overweight, you need to get in shape, you need to get pain-free and you're like, ah, oh, that's expensive. What does it work to you? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you change your whole life, if you become more confident, you have more energy, you lose body fat, you gain strength, you become more pain-free. I mean, there's not a magical pill. There's only one way to get there, right? Which is through consistent work. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. And it's, it's one of those things where, uh, it means a lot to even hear you say like, it, you guys should probably be even charging more. And we, we've made, I mean, I could confidently say we've helped 
hundreds and hundreds of people make like life transformations. I mean, I'm all about getting people abs. Let's go look good at the beach. I'm for that. But it's such a deeper thing. And then for you, obviously, you got a couple of kids, you work a lot, you're married, you being in like really excruciating pain and being super limited is not how you want to live your life as you get older. Not so for you, it was like, I got to do something about it. And you have right. been, and we're, we're, we're proud of you, man. I told coach Mike, Hey, he's like, I just had a call with Jared. Let's go put, let's get on an interview. And, um, so I'm really excited for you. And there, we look forward to continuing to work together, man. Uh, same here, Stephen. Yeah. Thanks brother.